Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this Mayhem Minute for this week. Today we're talking an Elimination Chamber. It was announced last night on a Raw, a randomly breaking news, and apparently it was news to a lot of the people in the back as well, according to PWMania.com. Uh, but first, before we get to that, please support our friends SliceOnBroadway.com, PittsburghWrestling.com, including uh, some new releases coming up this week, including the Road to Super Indie, including... <laughs> You might have seen the video going around of Tommy Dreamer and the fake leg beating up Justin Labar of Chair Shot Reality. Uh, also, Dalton Castle, RJ City, a part of that as well. Very, very fun show. So anyways, back to this story. Yes, Elimination Chamber is announced. It's a network exclusive. It's not even really a pay-per-view. Um, really interesting. According to this article at PW Mania, one of the reasons that WWE did away with the chamber was due to a lack of arenas would, that would allow the setup of the chamber because of renovations to older arenas making it impossible for them to handle the structure. It's heavy. You know, it's a big thing. Uh, the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, has not had the renovations done that would prevent the chamber from being assembled, so it will be able to handle the structure. Also, this was listed as a live show, I noticed, when I looked things up, um, and and unfortunately is on the same day as uh, Inspire Pro Wrestling in, Corpus, or not, in uh, Austin, Texas, so our boy Eamon will not be attending this. Uh, it's got to be an exciting deal for the people that bought tickets for a live show, and out of nowhere, it turned into an Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Out of nowhere. Uh, it, and even to the point where they have another live show scheduled on the same day in Greenville, South Carolina, with uh, Barrett, Rusev, John Cena all advertised for the event. Of course, cars is subject to change. I wonder if they might not out outright cancel it for this. Or they'd have a really strim uh, uh, trimmed down. Uh, it, it seemed really weird that they would have this. But it, it seems really weird in general. But this is like what we're seeing. You know, we had King of the Ring pop up out of nowhere as a network exclusive, not a full pay per view, but still. And it's kind of like a pre tape to uh, SmackDown, whatever that was that week, right? Uh, this is them showing their flexibility with the WWE network. They're basically, we can run this channel and we can put anything on we want and we will. And they're able to do something like this. And this is going to be just, uh, what, two weeks out from the pay-per-view this past weekend. So a very, very interesting move. It's the last day of their free month for May. And, and really another reason to say, hey, look, anything happen can happen when you have the WWE Network and you will get it all. On the WWE Network. What do you think of this? Elimination Chamber re, uh, returning. Uh, LB Papa Lunchbox says he was wondering why Payback wasn't the last weekend of the month. Now now I know. Also, sorry, Amen. Also from The Riz, this is a great timing for a network exclusive. Don't like it? Make sure you're fast on that button for $9.99. Uh, fast on, on the bu that button or $9.99 is theirs. So there you go. Yeah, hey, it's the last day of the month. So if you were holding out on your free preview... <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure to hold on to that uh, until the last minute so you can catch this on your free preview as well. But I think that's the trick to it. I'll let that roll over to the next month and you're paying for it, right? So let's know what you think on comments to this video. If you're finding us on YouTube or Facebook or uh, on the Twitter's at Mayhem Show or great discussions over at Wrestling Mayhem Show's Facebook group. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.